What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I bought Hogwarts Legacy a while back and I played it for a little bit and then I ended up having issues with my PC. So, I think I've gotten everything straightened out at this point. As you can see, last time I played the game was March 10th. It's been a minute. I don't remember any of the controls, anything like that. So, <clears throat> I do remember when I created my character, I did like the little test and everything that you take, and I got Ravenclaw, which was weird, at least I thought was, but I'm excited, I like the concept of, you know, everybody gets their own house, things like that, so I want to get back into it, and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me, so let's load it up, I don't remember any of the controls, nothing, so let's get into it. So it looks like we're getting ready to pick up at Charms class in the school. Um, I've already got Revelio. I've got my basic attack as well. Um, let's go ahead and get into Charms class and let's continue this and see where it goes. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months Seems must have really rude, taken a toll on that, you know, he didn't know he was <laughs> a wizard until way late. You spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't good with this when I was playing it. So when I originally started playing this, I was playing it on controller, but I want to learn how to play it with mouse and keyboard, and so far, not so good. Akio. That is not bad. Look at me, I'm a prodigy, alright? Now, if only I could Accio happy feelings. Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me... <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> Ha, ha, ha. 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Alright, let's give this a shot. See how well we do. Excellent Stay oh. focused. How do you release it? Very good. Oh, there we go. Splendid. Don't you dare. <laughs> Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. All right. I got this in the bag now. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I guess she's going first. Here we go. What? Right off the bat? That is how it's done. I wonder, can I knock hers off? Let's try it. Oh. I can knock both of ours off. If I'm gonna lose, we're gonna both lose. There we go. Right. Let's try it. Ah, uh, too far. Happens to the Let us see this. Alright. I need to knock hers off and get on the 50. And then I win. Uh, or I still lose. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> huh. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Let's give this a shot. Okay, or I could just give her a better score. That works. Yeah, get it out of here. I thought I had that. All right. Akio. Yeah, that's right. Remarkable. <laughs> I'm 
good at what I do. Very good, both of you. Well done. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Wagadu. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. I like the fact that they include, like, different cultures and stuff in the game. It's really nice. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Wingardian Leviosa. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can. A word if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Gonna be loading up on the side quests. Seems just like about any other RPG kind of game. How was your first day coming along? Where? Everybody goes and does all the side quests, and then by the time you get to doing the main quest, you're just completely OP. I, all right, let's that. figure out where we need to go. Not currently tracking anything. Like I said, I'm still trying to remember how to play this. It's been so long. The astrology wing. Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom, which is of the Transfiguration Courtroom, off the Transfiguration Courtyard, located between the library annex and the astronomy wing. Hopefully, she has word on replacing my lost supplies. All right, cool. 
So that's the next thing that we need to do. So let's go do that. really cool all the little details that they put into this game Hopefully as I play more I learn my way around the map a little better. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah! There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Oh, that's right. Okay, so I do remember at the beginning he did tell me to not say anything. So we're going to keep not saying anything and see where that leads us. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Let's not be devilish quite yet. Let's learn everything we can. I feel like that's the smarter way to go. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Cool. What's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right, well, let's go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I wonder if this decision like affects our friendship. If anything, I'll probably go with Natty because uh, she seems like she knows what she's doing. I'd like to go with Natty. 
Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle. If he's not welcome, no why is he there? The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Lumos. Oh, wrong one. Lady Which one is I don't remember. Rebellion. There it is. That's the one that I'm looking for. What chime though? Up here. The book. Haha. <laughs> This particularly transfigured teacup, likely the soon-to-be reversed error of his second year, uh, serves as a cautionary tale of those students who do not take seriously the complexities and danger of transfiguration. It's the rat cup. Is there any other Rebellion. ones? Oh, that's in a different room. Light it up. Oh, it's already green. Alright, let's see where we gotta go on the map here. Gotta reach level two. So where do I need to go now? Okay. Let's go there. What? Maybe? Oh, maybe if I go there, it'll tell me where I need to go first. So let's go. Oh, this way. Revelio. Yeet. Excuse me, excuse me. Coming through. I need to go through the door here. <laughs> Suit of armor singing. Me too, bud. Fly. Perhaps I'll come back to this. Okay, quest may have level or total requirements or activate check quest log. Okay. Learn Reparo first. We should come back to this another time. Where do I need to go to learn Reparo? Quest log. There we go. Is it gonna take me to the right place? I don't think I can do this now. Obviously. Best to come back. There we go. Ooh, what was that? Rebellion. Professor Weasley said she'd help me. There we go. 
The three sister bells are said to be a tribute of three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over the glen of Argleyshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle. Uh, locals near have been or locals have been baffled by the mysterious ring for years. That's cool. Collect everything we can. All right, now we got to go learn Reparo. <laughs> Me too, suit of armor. Relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I still haven't figured out what's up with that. Ooh, maybe now that I learned Accio, let's give it a shot. Ha ha! It is Accio. All right, cool. Okay, now how do I look at it? Collections, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. We got spells to learn. The door wants to open. Thank you. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up Why with your Why is it lagging A number so of bad. your professors have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Hold on, let's see if we can fix this. Are we back? Sorry about that. I don't have the newest best on PC equipment, so sometimes it starts screaming at me, are you mad at me? And you know, you just gotta pat it on the head and be like, you're doing good little buddy. Just keep up for me, cause my pockets aren't deep enough to <laughs> buy a new one yet. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. This is the Ooh, right area. There's another page. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Oh. We gotta go around, maybe. 
What's this? Oops. Revelio. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Come here. Accio. Brilliant. Gotcha. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate Oh, makes sense. Collect the pages of the and book and then I fix want it. to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. First try. Cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. I it was allegedly about to. symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair it. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Rebellion. Well done, besting Sebastian at dueling. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Now we can go to Hogsmeade. For me? Yes, I am. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. 
but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. This game is massive, <laughs> gold, honestly. Oh, look oh, at that. That's cool. I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh, nice. that down there oh oops okay can't do that yet look from the forbidden forest hippogriffs I wonder if something startled them I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby Accio. Accio. Likely already named them too. Prance hoof and sugarfoot. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah. There's Hogsmeade over the crest. If that's not ruin. foreshadowing, I don't know what is. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Don't abandon. Reparo. Okay. Leviosa. Nope. Lumos. Oh, that's definitely not that one. Leviosa. That's not what I wanted to do. Ooh, more things to collect. Come here. I guess we'll collect all the things that we can since we're going to be making potions eventually. It's over here. What's this? Not important, I guess. Bench. Oh. Rebellion. I haven't been doing that at all. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you find yourself settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will be <laughs> Moonstone. That's cool. Is there more? 
Can I get that? Hey. Rebellion. Ooh, Kit Kat. Always pet the kitty. Uh, Akio, Mr. Moon. Nope. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. What's this? Shiny. Nope. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fit yet? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What huh? did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never nice seen one. him in such a state. Akio. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Finally making it to hogs mean. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The three broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. Rebellion. It changes with every visit. I can't tell you. Uh, this precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Sir Serwins? I don't know. Adventures, the shops, wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Rebellion. It's all kinds of stuff. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and a new wand. A wand. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore. Why does it keep lagging? Experience hugs me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. It seems to only do it on the cutscenes. I guess the first thing we'll do is go to Ollivander's. Oh, it's right there. A 
be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, ah, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Olivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, <laughs> how odd. Not quite. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. the shelf for you uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated how perplexing um where are you perhaps you... third time's a charm ah, there you are yes I think you might be the one here Take it. Dragon heart string rigid, thirteen inches. Oh, that's cool. I get to make my own wand. How intriguing. Oh, I don't want to finalize it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Well, it just looks like a stick. <laughs> now that one looks like a stick. Curious indeed. I don't know. I think I like this one the best, honestly. How intriguing. Well, that one's kind of cool, too. Curious indeed. I wonder if any of this, like... Curious no, let's go for it. Elder. Let's do ten and a half How inches. Intriguing.
I don't know. Well, I figured probably something closer to the middle. Yes, indeed. Maybe a little solid piece of wood. Dragon Heartstring. Known for producing powerful magic. Uh, consistent magic. A great range of magic. Let's go with a Phoenix Feather. We need a good great range. We want to learn a bunch of spells. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare. And a core with a strong sense of initiative. We are gonna finalize this purchase this bad boy. What do you think? That's cool. They at least let you design it. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Alright, that's one thing we can knock off the list. Rebellion. Look at all these locks I'll be able to break into eventually. Alright, next thing we need to do is good old potions. Another kitty cat. Unless that's the same one. Is it this building? Oh, yep. It is, in fact, this Welcome building. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Know that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel 
free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Alright, we got the recipes. There's something. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary, apothecary, I guess, in Hogsmeade, where proprietors Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Ooh, he's got a chest somewhere. Maybe it's outside? I don't know. Rebellion. Hmm. There's got to be a way to get to it. Probably just don't know it yet. Can I not make it up over this? Guess not. Alright, back around. Ooh. Maybe it needs... Repairer. Nope. Worth a shot. Oh, there it is. Protego. That's not what I wanted either. Ooh, let's not fall off. Ooh, there's a page. Can you not jump out of the water? There we go. Come here, Paige. Where'd it go? There it is. Got it. Oops, wrong button. I don't remember how to do these chests. Rebellion. Maybe I haven't learned them yet. Lumos. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. All right. Next thing on the list. Let's look here. Got the potions. Oh, scrolls, I think. What was it? Magic knee, Tom's scrolls. Okay, so yeah, it is those. Um, this one's closest. Let's go here. Belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick and thing, thick of things, and engaging with customers outside the shop. You're good. Talk to him. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. 
Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neap. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Should just get the necessities right at the moment because um, I'm broke. the shot all right next on the map uh, down here it's a bit of a hike let's get after it then I do wish I had a bigger trunk <laughs> don't we all to lock. Okay, so I do learn a way to break into things. An inquiring mind. Page, come here. Akio. Oops. Got it. Revelio. Where was it? I don't see it. This enchanted staircase in tombs and schools reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The property here, Thomas Brown, or the proprietor, my bad. Thomas Brown sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts, handy for conjuring. Conjuration. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. 
For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Table. If oh, you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. I better well, be making some everything. gold soon. Better go and find Matty. There's a lot of things I need to buy. Can I go back here? Not stop at me. Oh, there's another one of them chests. Don't mind me, just uh take my stuff. Oh, what's this? This is cool. I don't know how to work those. I'll have to look it up. Do anything? Rebellion. I was going to say that looked important. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Okay. Zero to a hundred real quick. Two. Uh, I don't know the buttons.
was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Defender. Him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Like, that's it? You're not gonna be like, hey, uh, how the hell did you even do that? Repair Oh, hello there. Um, a moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Thanks. I got things to fix. Leviosa. Oh, 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 thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Alright, where's the last one there? There it is. Repair her. Revelio. Started in 1750 with the location in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade. Uh, Glaudrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Uh, Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Odo Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Let's get us some clothes, I guess. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. Of course, it's lagging your again. Remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrags Wizardwear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? 
Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I got the traditional robes, but I already have some stuff that's a little bit better. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop. Rebellion. At your Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequin at... Uh... Glad Rags serves only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, there it is. Rebellion. There we go. A sneakoscope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, it is, as it will alert the untrustworthy to the users uh, present almost instantly. Hmm, that's cool. All right, well, that is going to be it for today. I do uh, intend to continue to play this more. I really like this game. Um, it's got a lot of cool aspects to it. really wish I had been playing it sooner, but now I get to at least record it and go along with it with you guys. So um, until next time, catch you guys later. Peace.